nitrogen is always the most important fact, or oh, one of the most important fact for the organic rice yielding and the other you know, performance. But compared to uh, conventional rice, we have very limited uh, options to increase the nitrogen supply. Typically, the soil don't have enough nitrogen to support to the rice to approach the yield potential. So the options for organic rice in terms of nitrogen management, first we are looking at uh, uh, green manure, like, uh, you know, uh, legumes, come crop, uh, like, uh, you know, clovers, and we also look at other, like uh, rye grass. And uh, hopefully we can, you know, get enough biomass and uh, nitrogen supply from this cover crop to have, like, economical sound yield for organic rice. And the worst pest of organic rice, as far as I'm concerned, is the rice water weevil. And the rice water weevil, um, it lays its eggs underwater, and then the eggs hatch, and then the larvae move down to the roots, and they feed on the roots. Uh, the damage to the, by the adults uh, is not significant, but the larval stages, the four larval stages are really, they can do a lot of damage. And particularly in water seeded rice, in drill seeded rice, um, as I said before, the, the insects do not lay eggs until there's a flood. And so the flood is applied much earlier on organic rice to control weeds. And so that means the rice is much smaller and it only takes a few larvae to do a lot of damage, basically. We've collected the data, but we haven't analyzed it. I haven't looked at the data yet. We're still in the middle of doing all that. 